joining me again for more sewing adventures. My name's Gemma, otherwise known as Velvety Cleopatra. Um, today I have a quick project. I'm going to be making one of the stitch witch patterns. So this is the Tudor blouse. I have made this before. I've made two of these before. I really like them. Um, they're just a simple um, top. You can kind of wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. You can make the wrap front version you can make a wrap back version you can make a button up front version or a button back version there's lots of different variations with this pattern the one i am making is the wrap version you can actually wear it backwards so you can wrap it at the back or the front but i make the front wrap version but then you can wear it backwards if you want to and i'm going to be using this fabric from minerva this is a linen so it's from their linen um their new exclusive linen range. Look at that print, love a bit of leopard print. Even though it's not traditional leopard print, I just love the colors. I think, because they're very muted colors, so I think there's a lot of different fabrics this will go with um, for, in terms of, you know, separates. But I'm thinking this will be really nice with the ginger sailor pants that I made. So I've got myself a cute little summer outfit there. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, so, we are going to give this a whirl. This fabric is very soft. It's, it's really nice. I mean, just look at the colors as well. Just gorgeous. Love those pastel kind of colors. So yeah, um, let's get started. I forgot to mention that I'm wearing one of my uh, Cashmere Club Rockwell dresses today. This is the second one that I made. So this fabric is from Minerva. It's from their Viscous Chalet exclusive range. This print is called Rainforest Rhythm. It's just gorgeous. Just look at the colours of it. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. So I'm going to crack on now. I really wish I had room for a cutting table because this is not ideal and it hurts my knees. <laughs> Do you ever procrastinate when you're sewing? I don't know why, I just can't get focused today. And I've been doing loads of tidying up, and then now I just decided to change my shower curtain. It is a nice shower curtain though, to be fair. Like, you know, it's giving tropical, it's giving flamingo, much like the picture on the wall. So I thought it was about time that I introduced you to this chonk, Cleo. <laughs> she is the loveliest cat in the world, aren't you? She's about seven years old and she is just the cutest. Anyway, back to the sewing today. It is Sunday, I had to work yesterday, so a bit of an interruption. Today I'm wearing this halter wiggle dress that I made. It is a copy of a dress I already have, one from uh, the brand Lindy Bop. And I don't think they exist anymore. I think they went into liquidation, which is a shame because I really like their clothes. They were sort of vintage and retro inspired. But yeah, I had a, um, a wiggle dress with a ruffle on the bottom. And for my very first sewing project, I decided to copy that dress. And actually it's three years ago today that I started sewing clothes. So I started on my mock-up of that dress and it turned out to be the best dress I have ever made, ever, still to this day. But this is one of the uh, ones I made from the pattern that I made from that dress. So I kind of went about sewing garments quite difficult well, in a difficult manner at first, I didn't start from patterns. I started from making a pattern from a piece of clothing I already had and then sort of learn on the fly. I didn't know how to sew a ruffle or anything and everything I needed to do. I just looked it up on YouTube and that's how I've learned to sew. And it's been three years today that I first started that. But anyway, this is one of them. 
it's a like a it's made out of like a jersey fabric it ties up at the back and this one doesn't have the ruffle on the bottom because I didn't have enough fabric but also it's nice to just keep it plain sometimes but I love these dresses they're perfect for summer comfortable and you know I feel like an absolute Betty today what do you think anyway back to the sewing so I had to go and buy an extension lead because my um, I just moved my sewing desk in the living room and now I'm sort of between where the power outlets are and I didn't have an extension lead long enough so I had to go out to Argos and buy an extension lead um, and then I got home and was like great I can finally start sewing and then realized I need to change the thread on my overlocker because this is my fabric and I had a black thread in the overlocker so obviously I want to change to white so um, I decided probably should clean my overlocker as well because there's a lot of detritus in there from uh, my last sewing escapade so we're going to do that first and then re-thread the overlocker and then we're going to get started <laughs> Somebody asked about my ironing board. This cover was from Dunelm and of course it's got lemons on it. So we've understitched the seam allowance to the facing and pressed it so you can see it's all nicely pressed and then when you look at the right side the facing shouldn't roll over now because you've understitched it so i'm now pinning both sets of front tie pieces together so you can see you've got quite long pieces i'm holding them together so this is the armhole this is the side seam with our darts and then this long piece becomes the front wrap and the ties. So we're joining the two sets, each set together and sewing along the long edges to create the ties. And then we'll turn them the right way out. And then they get attached to the back bodice. Then we need to create the elastic casing for the sleeves, I believe and sew the sleeves and attach them and then hem it and I think that's it this is a fairly easy pattern it comes together very quickly I've never made the button-up version of this it's just not my style to be honest um, and you know I just I love a wrap because you know I've told you many times I'm all about that cinched waist life and a wrap allows me to tie it as tight as I like to cinch me in.
starting to look like a top so this is the back and then you've got the ties that come across and wrap around and tie around the back and then you know we made the darts for the bust earlier so it's coming together all we need to do now is the sleeves and put them in and then it's done because this is the the back neckline if you will which is all finished nicely understitched and pressed and stitched down just done the hem in the back that's all finished and pressed stitched down the front wrap ties are sort of double layered so they're they're essentially lined and finished and um, look at these nice points Ooh, yeah i love this fabric the more i look at it the more i freaking love it and do you know what i'm thinking this will go really nicely with those sailor trousers i made so that's an outfit anyway um yeah i'm gonna go on to the sleeves and we're nearly there okay so i have pressed the top and bottom well finished with the serger the overlocker finished the edge the top and bottom edge of the sleeves and pressed it over by three quarters of an inch and now i'm going to stitch it at five eighths of an inch from the folded edge and this creates the casing for the elastic <laughs> Okay, so that's the elastic casing made for the top and bottom of the sleeves. Now I need to find my elastic. Rather miraculously, I actually have the right size elastic. So this calls for half inch elastic. I actually have half inch elastic in the right color. This never happens. All right, I'm just getting out my trusty metal ruler. I need, so I looked at the elastic chart, I need two pieces that are 15 inches long that's for the cuffs and then two pieces that are 18 inches long that's for the um the shoulder i may need to adjust this because i have quite narrow shoulders so i might make it a little bit tighter but i can do that i'll measure the elastic on you once i've cut it so 15 inches we need two of these Are there any better scissors than Fiskars, by the way? I love mine. Cut the elastic. So I now need to feed it into the channels using a safety pin. And these then basically close up the seams of the sleeves, trapping the elastic in the seams and then attach the sleeves to the top and then it's done. So the 18 inch ones are for the shoulder. So that's going to be around the top of my arm. I like them falling off the shoulder. The idea is that they don't fall off the shoulder. I actually like them falling off the shoulder. So I like an off the shoulder moment. We've been through this. Okay, so This is the, the shoulder, so we're going to put one of the longer pieces through. So I just pin my pin onto the end and I also pin it at the other end so that I can um, pin it to the, the fabric so it doesn't, so I don't pull it all the way through because I have done that before and it's so annoying when that happens. So we're going to feed this through here. So we're feeding it through the channel we've made and it just fits because we sewed it at five eighths of an inch and then this elastic is half an inch and we don't want it to get tangled we want to keep it nice and flat you can see this is gathering we're gathered here today i know i said i i know i know okay right so once i've got it out the other end i will take the elastic take the safety pin off and then I'll pin it through the fabric to make sure it doesn't pull all the way through and then I'll do the same at this end. 
so basically I want to pull the elastic through so it's just at the end now it just as it's disappearing and then pin it to the fabric again just so it doesn't go all the way through and then do you know what the easiest way to distribute the gathers is if you just stretch it out and then let it pin back it does itself like i see people sitting there trying to equally gather it but look at that even gathers all the way along all you have to do is just pull it taut and let it spring back it sorts itself out seriously it's that easy and there we go this will be the top the shoulder of our top how cute is this fabric oh my god ah, it's so cute right so sorry about that little moment there so that's the see what i've done is i've put the long elastic in the cuff instead of no no i haven't this is the this is the this is the seam of the sleeve okay i was getting confused then because that curved is the that's the arm side i thought i'd done it i have done it wrong i've done it wrong okay i'm gonna take this elastic out and put the correct length of elastic in now Okay, so we now have sleeves. So this is the cuff. It's quite hard for you to see, isn't it? Sorry, I'm rubbish at the camera. This is the cuff. It's joined up, the elastic's in. And then all we need to do now is join the shoulder and the, well, the arm's eye, basically, to the arm's eye of the bodice. So, um, and then it's done. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. No plucking on the carpet. She's done. I love it. I do love this top and I'm wearing it with my sailor trousers. It looks cute. You can have it on the shoulder if you want. But I do prefer. I mean, it's cute, but I do prefer an off the shoulder moment. You know, I just think it's sassy. Anyway, very comfortable. Fabric is going to be very breathable in the height of summer, I think. I love the pattern. Leopard print is, you know, it's a timeless classic in my opinion. This is what it looks like at the back. So it ties up here. You can flip it around the other way and tie it at the back as well. Let me show you. I meant tie it at the front so like this so i've got it on backwards so it crosses over at the back only you'll see my bra this way around if you want to go braless with it if you can go braless with it you could do it that way again you can put the sleeves on the shoulder so you've got like sort of like a peasant blouse i guess this is so versatile honestly i you could you know this isn't my favorite way to wear it but it's still cute I love it. I actually love it. I think that's becoming my catchphrase now. I actually love it. But I do actually love it. Anyway, stitch witch patterns, Tudor blouse. Give it a try. The fabric is the viscous linen blend from Minerva's exclusive range. I was gifted this in exchange for telling you about it. I will always be honest though, this fabric is lovely bit of a pain to work with it sheds a lot it frays like crazy but if you've got an overlocker i mean i had a bit of an issue with my overlocker but if you've got an overlocker to finish the evil edges you'll be fine otherwise you could do other seam finishing 
um, other finishing techniques. So for example, um, zigzag stitch over the edges. You know, there are other options, but I love the print. I've washed it, it didn't run. Um, it's very soft, very uh, breathable. I love it, and the colour is like, the colours are just this muted kind of multicoloured leopard print. I am, I'm here for it. Anyway, if you've liked my video, please give it a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you're going to try this pattern, tell me how you think it looks best, like this or the other way. Um, and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because I'd love to have you here with me. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me again. I'll see you again on another sewing adventure, I'm sure.